Vigils across Israel, hours after finding out the country's prayers had not been answered. Hundreds joined in public grief as word spread that the three missing teenagers were dead. Naftali Frankel, Gilad Shah and Iyal Yafrak were last seen hitchhiking outside their religious school on the West Bank. A phone call to police claiming they'd been kidnapped was not acted upon until several hours later. The significance of that error and the brutality of what their kidnappers did with them is now becoming clear. The search efforts had for weeks focused on the area of Halhul, and as night fell it appeared they'd been looking in the right place. The entrance to Hal Hall has now been closed off by the Israeli military. They did so after the three bodies were discovered in an open field. The first two were found beneath some loose rocks. The third was found when they dug a little deeper and there were civilian volunteers with soldiers when the discovery was made. Israel's Prime Minister has said from the outset that Hamas was responsible. Now he says the group will pay and his military, it seems, are already preparing their response. Hamas are behind this attack, uh, the Hamas terrorist organization. The people that, that participated in it, as we have named them, uh, are known um, Palestinian Hamas terrorists. Last week, Israel's authorities named Ama Abu Aisha and Marwan Kawazmi as their main suspects, accused of being Hamas operatives from Hebron. Neither has yet been found. The US and UK governments have condemned the murders, saying they'll support Israel's efforts to bring the perpetrators to justice. But they issued careful warnings too, urging all sides against taking the road of revenge that might escalate things further. Tom Rayner, Sky News in Hebron.